Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be going over my May monthly calendar. So let's get started. All right, so for this month of May, I will be using my um, budget kit from Erica Life Vlogs and I will have her shop linked down below. I do have um, multiple shops here, um, stickers. So um, this freebie is from Erica Life Vlogs. I'll be using her Bill Do stickers. I'll also be using Bill Do stickers from Romina Rosa, along with her um, Bill Do scripts. So all of these right here. And then also I just wanted to show um, this girl sticker named Amber from Mary Posa Studios. I will have her shop link down below because that is who I am featuring here on the sidebar. And then also the no spin stickers are from um, Romina Rosa as well. And then just to mention that my um, expense log legend or my expense legend right here in the corner is from Erica Life Vlogs. This did come with the kit. Um, these are my different categories, gasoline, groceries, spending, eating out, and unbudgeted. And my plan for this month is to do my weekly check-in. So hopefully I stick to it. Sometimes when I wait too long to film, I feel like I'm just like too much into the next week. So I keep saying, all right, I'm going to just combine the last two weeks and then <laughs> more time pass. Um, after my calendar view, I'm going to have my expense log, then the weekly check-in page. And then here is my monthly budget page. And then lastly will be my sinking funds page. Okay, but today we're just going to focus on the calendar view and lay down all of my bills for the month. All right, so I'm just going to start off by adding... I'm just going to start off by adding this um, money bag here. As some of you may know, um, I'm currently unemployed um, and I'm just living off my savings. So I'm just going to mark this down as like a payday of when I like, you know, give myself money for the month to pay my bills and, you know, basically live life. So I actually, yeah, I did this on the first. So let me... Where I want to put it, I kind of want to just put it like right here. Just want to make sure in frame. All right. So I did that on the first, and then also on the first, I paid my rent. And these stickers are so cute. I'm going to use this one. So I paid my rent was due on. The first, and I did mention in my last video, I had a funny story. So it's not real funny, <laughs> but so apparently there was a glitch in the system for for um like how we pay rent and, and whatnot. And so when I moved in, there was a glitch glitch in the system that showed um that I paid the rent and everything for when I first moved in, but it didn't show any of my security deposits pet fee pet deposits so when i made the payment it showed as a credit on the account so when my april rent was due you know it took the credited amount and applied it to april's rent so what happened was i did have a discount on my um april's rent or march rent or or whichever one but it wasn't as big as it was if you recall in my last video, I only paid about just over $200 for rent and it should have been like over $2,000. So that big of a difference wasn't supposed to be the full on discount. It was supposed to be a smaller amount, but still a discounted rate. So once we went over all the um, ledger, the le um, went over line by line of all the expenses charged versus what I paid, we came to an agreement of what I would make up. For the month of April, technically, because your girl got off damn near scot free, you know, from over two thousand dollars to only paying just over two hundred dollars. You know, your girl basically got like a whole month of rent for free, but it wasn't supposed to be as much discounted, <laughs> if any of that makes sense. So because they, you know, felt bad for making their mistake, I'm just gonna pay a smaller amount 
at a later time at my convenience basically and what i just planned on doing is just waiting to my house sale to go through which should be coming up this week so cross your fingers for me um and then i'll just go ahead and pay them what i owe because i don't want to um you know carry a balance because we don't do debt over here wink wink <laughs> um so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and take care of that so when i made when i made may's payment it was just a regular rent not the you know what i owe amount so that amount is not going to show until i call them and let them know i'm ready and then they'll apply the charges and then i'll make the payment otherwise i think we set an agreement for like june or july to like do like half and half um but i'm just gonna pay it full on once i you know sell my house all right sorry for that long story <laughs> i've been trying to cut down the long chatter but sometimes you know i just be running my mouth anywho so after rent um what's next dang i feel like i had these in order and okay let's just go ahead and lay lay these down so after rent i believe my renter's insurance is due next tomorrow as a matter of fact so let's start with that one and then I should have my subscriptions come out. So Netflix should be on the 6th, Amazon also on the 6th, and then my phone bill is due on the 7th i still have my phone bill with t-mobile i've been a, like really trifling with myself so i've been saying for a little bit that i didn't receive my sim card from spectrum well at this point i had it for like maybe a week or more and i have yet to activate it so i can you know possibly switch service if i like spectrum so that is on my to-do list to literally switch out the sim cards call spectrum to activate it by tomorrow the 5th and then just give it a couple of weeks to a month just to see how i like the service and then decide if i'm going to officially make the switch now unfortunately you know by me doing that i gotta maintain two phone bills technically for one phone um but yeah so i've been sleeping on that responsibility but i'm getting it together finally um and then yeah we'll just go from there see if i like them which i feel like i probably will because at this point it's 2022 there shouldn't be like crappy phones i feel like but you never know so i'm just going to try them out see how i like it and then if i feel like the service is good i'm gonna cut off t-mobile and then be a full-time spectrum customer all right so that was phone bill for the seventh and then after the seventh with is due i believe that's when my internet bill is due with spectrum so i'm just going to use this pretty blue color one so i believe this is on the 10th and then what else trying to do these in order so i'm just going to put the rest out because it will just go down where it goes down then i have apple music disney plus all right I have my boyfriend's phone bill. And then I also have my electric bill. All right, and then I don't know if my um, apartment water bill is gonna be due this month or not it might be due in june because it is like delayed by like a month or more um so i'm just going to mark that 
and then then i want to take one more phone bill sticker because i need that for the spectrum bill and then the last one is for audible okay and i actually technically have two more bills to pay but i think i might just have that in the budget part and not necessarily my calendar view all right so let me go ahead and mark all of these down okay so like i mentioned renter's insurance is due on the 5th and I set this up for automatic payments so this should come out automatically but I do need to give them a call because I did see a double payment for April so I need to know if it's going to pull for May or if I'm supposed to get a refund or credit or what because it was supposed to be under 10 bucks a month and they pulled 1916 in April so I need to call to find out if that's for April and May um netflix is due on the 6th along with amazon and comment down below um what you're watching currently if you have a netflix account i'm um watching a show called another life season one kept my attention but season two got a little dry um let me know if you know what i'm talking about um, but also just com comment down below what you're currently watching on whatever streaming service because I, as you can see, I have multiple when I um, have something good to watch. Um, phone bill on the 7th. So the first week is just bill crazy. And then internet for Spectrum, I believe is due on the 10th. HB, HBO, I believe, is due on the 10th as well. So let me mark these both down. Um, and so far, I've been in Texas since March 30 or March 21st, and I'm really enjoying it out here, especially the weather. Um, can't complain and I'm just like amazed by the scenery like I partially feel like I'm in a whole nother country I would say like Spain or something just like how all of the buildings and the architecture and how everything is just um, matches is like <laughs> there's some serious pride out here and I really really love it so far my Apple music bill is due on the 17th And I cannot live without it. I listen to music like every single day. Um, Disney Plus is due. I think this is due on the 22nd. Right? Or is it the 20th? I think it's the 20th. Darn it. Let me see what I did for April. Oh, 22nd. All right. So 22nd for Disney Plus. And then let me put Audible down because this is due on the 18th. And then my utility bill, which is um electric electricity, and then my boyfriend's phone bill with Sprint. These two are due on the 29th. I'm not sure if the electric bill will change. It probably will, um, but in April is due on the 29th, so I'm just gonna mark it for the 29th again. And then this water bill, I think I might just hold off on putting this down just because I'm not sure if it's going to be due this month. It might be due in June. And then this phone bill sticker is for um, Spectrum phone bill. It's going to only be like $14 unless I go over one gigabyte of data. 
because I'm on the uh, pay as you use plan for that. Um, I could just, I'm going to have to look in my account to see when it's due. I'm just going to put it down for like the 26th right now. And when I figure out the due date, I'll just move this sticker. All right, so that is all of my bills laid out. This is what the calendar view is looking like. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in the amount. So renter insurance should be $9.58. Netflix, I normally just budget $17, so I don't worry about the change. Same with um, Amazon, I just budget out $9. Because this money goes to my boyfriend's account since it comes out of his account automatically. My phone bill is $94.19 with T-Mobile. And you can see already why I want to switch, <laughs> switch phone plans. My internet bill, I am budgeting out $77. It should be about that amount. HBO, I am budgeting $16. Apple Music, same thing, $16. Audible, $16. Disney Plus, we budget $8. For my electric bill, I think I'm budgeting out $100, but we'll see when I get that bill. My boyfriend's phone bill, we budget $93. And then for my Spectrum phone bill, um, I don't see myself going over a gig, so I'm just going to budget out $14. And I may join a regular plan, which I think is like $45 a month. But I don't know if I'm consistent. I think I'm going to wait on joining the official plan um, for about like two or three months just to see if I average a gig or more. Because um, once you hit three gigs, then you might as well just get the unlimited plan for $45. So if I stay around one or two gigs, I might just keep going with the uh, pay per gig as you use it type of deal. But yeah, this is pretty much everything. So thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.